there's no actual way that I just seen the UPS man drive past my apartment complex. And the liquor come with your service and the Hey yo, that and me but this is unacceptable. Hey. My ends feel damp. Y'all, OMG, I lost so much footage. I honestly don't even know where it went. Like, I literally don't. Like, down to me getting my nails done. Down to me getting my hair done. Uh, y'all, y'all can tell this trip has been, well, before the trip, it's just been so much, like, and I literally had the footage, y'all. The footage was so good. Like, oh, my God, the quality looked good. The angles was good, especially, like, me getting my nails done. And I don't know where it's at. Like, I thought it uploaded to my computer or to my um, my hard drive, and I don't see it as I'm editing this video. So I am sorry. Like, I am really sorry, and I'm just trying not to let it, like, piss me off because I still got some good footage, but, like, that was good. <laughs> and, like, if that was me, I would want to see that. But, yeah, y'all, so, like, this is me before I got my hair done and after I got my nails done. So, yeah, sorry, guys. A little disclaimer. I'm sorry. I honestly don't know, child. I don't know what I'm doing. And you can tell this side... This side definitely feels so much softer than this side feels soft too, but it just still still feels like more coarse. And then real coarse, but like I ain't blow it out good enough. I mean you can see the difference. Again, I just think I'm getting hot and I about to eat, I guess. I don't know. I think I said the same thing yesterday. I think I ended up eating noodles yesterday, but I don't really have nothing. I didn't take no meat out. I I don't know. I don't have nothing. I do have stuff. Let me stop saying that. I'm blessed to have some food in there and be able to choose something. But it is new. So, yeah, and I'm tired. I just want to lay down. <laughs> and I'm just kind of over the day. I don't know why I'm over the day. Maybe work blew me. Like, I don't know. Don't say that. I do got a shirt on backwards. I don't care. I'm probably about to chill, go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I might, I may eat something, maybe some fruit or something. I don't know, but yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Every night fucks every day up. Every day patches the mud up. Oh God, you should be here. I'll down the street, so I'm be coming in. I'm just under the dryer now. And then, y'all, I gotta say about UPS. 
they sent me a notification saying that my um I refused the delivery and then the leasing office people said they didn't, they didn't even come to the door they didn't even come by only FedEx came so I was like why are you lying and why are you playing with my passport but I've been on the phone with them and trying to figure it out so hopefully it gets delivered later fingers crossed this is like some type of nacho bag i don't know this is my first time ever getting it i ain't never seen it before so we're gonna try it my cheese fries is low-key cold I don't, I don't like that but i'm still gonna eat them believe it this all right the burritos taste stale mm. yeah i'm watching this i just started this new show called run the world on stars and let me show y'all this part it had me down because <laughs> I was not expecting them to say that. We do it. We do it. Because we used to do it. So drink my data. <laughs> hey, yo. That had me crying. I was not. Because you know you usually say drink mother. Drink. My, they said drink my drink. <laughs> that is funny. I'm going to start saying that. Like you're swigging about. And I paid for add jalapenos in this. It ain't no jalapenos in this at all. So, I'll tell you. If I had one thing, that's another. You're still eating at the bodega. Right now, it's a requirement. Are you not coming over? Because I feel like stir fresh. <laughs> to go to a UPS store customer service I don't know and maybe I can make it to the wax I don't know so I just I just left my wax it was cool or whatever I have to tell y'all what's going on in a minute but I got stuff to do so hey guys so long story short UPS insane i don't have my passport i leave in less than 20 in less than 12 hours probably less than 10 hours it is less than 10 hours i have to buy a whole another flight i couldn't change my flight for free or with a small fee because i have basic economy which i can't do that again if i'm a fly i, I, I can't because I had to pay $450 for another flight. And luckily they waived, like, cause they were like, I went through a third party or whatever, so they couldn't do it. I had to do it through Expedia. And Expedia was like, you know, I had to buy a whole nother flight. Like, 
a whole nother thing because I called American Airlines because I didn't want them to cancel my return flight if I were to get a one way and they were like, yeah, we were gonna, we're gonna cancel if you don't get on the going flight. And I, so they was like, well, we, their supervisor wa waived it because of my passport issue. And so uh, my plane's supposed to leave at like 2.30 and I have a layover in Dallas. Mind you, our original flight was a one way and it was only like two hours. So I have to land in Dallas and then I fly to Mexico and I think it's like another two hours. So I will get there at like 7 p.m. And so I don't want to be stuck there by myself, like, because I've never been to Mexico and I just heard too much stuff about it. And then my mom and them are already like, they want me by myself and blah, 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 blah. Because Michelle and them are going to get there at 11 in the morning. So they're going to be there way, way before I get there. And I just, I don't know. I don't know nothing about Mexico. Like, <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. I wish I will one day, but I don't speak Spanish. Like, I don't know. I've never been out of the country besides the Bahamas, and that's not really, you know. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm getting ready to paint my toes. I just took a shower, just got home from work, had a breakdown at work, like, because I was just stressed, like, and I was just kept having a call and we had that two hour break in between each like today and yesterday to do things and even like in the morning like y'all saw I tried to get my way I don't even know if I told y'all I tried to get my wax this morning the girl locked her key left her keys or something so I drove 30 minutes and 30 minutes to my job you know 30 minutes there for no reason the whole time I was on the phone trying to figure stuff out I, in my break I'm on the phone I go get my wax I'm on on the phone there, I'm on the phone back. I get there, I'm trying to book the other flight because I'm trying to call to make sure I have transportation. And it was just a lot. And then I'm having to wait, you know, on hold and stuff for a representative. And yeah, like, I, like, this it's just, I'm just like, it's no way, but. Yeah, I'm getting ready to paint my toes and then finish packing and then hope and pray that the UPS man comes. I'm going to be downstairs at like 830 in the morning. I'm not playing with that man or woman, whoever you are. I'm not playing. I'm going to meet you outside, baby. Like, and then I'm going to get my passport and then I'm going to head out. I still I haven't even got my swimsuit yet. Michelle package is lost. She don't got no clothes. Well, she has clothes, but the clothes she ordered, UPS lost her package. So it's like, what is what y'all doing? So I don't even know if I told y'all that I tried to file a claim with them. They told me I couldn't even file a claim because at this point, y'all are wasting my money, wasting my time, and playing with my citizenship basically because. Y'all literally are wasting my money. Y'all y'all are the reason that I'm spending hundreds of dollars, like, you know what I mean? Like, and they talking about, I can't file a claim. It has to be the sender. I'm the receiver. They don't got nothing to do with that. Like, once it's out of their hands, it's, it's, it's my thing. Like, if you, I'm filing a claim. Y'all didn't do what y'all supposed to do for me. Like, don't get me started, y'all. I've been snapping all day, like, since 8 o'clock this morning. Do not get me started. <sighs> but yeah, let me relax and do what I gotta do. Everything goes smoothly. I get my passport and 
I make it to what you call it. I got nail polish on here. I'm soaking man. Like that. see some FedEx truck right here talking about they can't get in. They need security access. They haven't even came to my complex at all. I've been outside for like an hour. And now I see FedEx right here. UPS not even here. Like at this point a UPS truck person is just a liar and lazy as hell. You need to find another job. You're lazy. You don't do what you're supposed to do. Like there's no actual way that I just seen the UPS man drive past me. And then they tell me I gotta go meet him is that like that's my complex like bro talking about meet him on south boulevard <laughs> now i'm on a search to find a ups man down the street because i'm still on hold to for her to get the address like bro when I tell you, I ain't never, never in my life, I'm, I'm not ordering nothing from, I ain't even ordered this. I didn't even know it was coming through UPS. I thought it was USPS. It's how I sent my package. Like, and it's too much motion down here. I don't even know where he at. Oh. Man, this ghetto is, y'all, I am pissed. I'm literally outside of CVS. CVS to wait on this man to come bring my package. And I seen you drive past my apartment, bro. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm about to sue that. For real, like, for real. Because first of all, this is unsafe. I'm a whole young woman. I don't know this man. Like, I don't know this man. Why do I have to drive somewhere to meet your ass? This is not no pickup. Like, this is not that. Like, you were supposed to deliver my package. You didn't even come to my apartment complex. You didn't even come. I was there the whole time outside for an hour and 30 minutes. You did not come. Like, if, if something good don't come out of this, I know something, like, like, y'all, like, bro, yeah, I, oh my God, oh, I see this, hold on. Oh, I'm fresh Hey, I'm London. All right, can I see Why, why you, why you can't come to my apartment? You gotta be fast. No, but this is office. yeah, but this is my passport. So like, it was sent through that through well, that I way. I mean, I can't see. Through it. I don't know what. it don't matter though if it's, if FedEx can come to my apartment complex. Why can't y'all? And then at least not said y'all y'all used to. And I seen you drive. I I seen I was outside for an hour and thirty minutes. You don't know how you didn't cost me money like to have to. I, my flight was supposed to leave at nine in the morning. You know that right? Like we well, don't know that, but like, this is just unacceptable. What's unacceptable? This. Your leasing office uses FedEx. Here. Yeah, exactly. I use fish. This is the only time I had to. I thought my stuff was going to USPS. Like this, this is. You still should have just dropped it off. Like at the leasing I office. I dropped it off at the leasing office. They won't let. You. They literally told me that y'all could. FedEx does it all the time. Amazon was there today. FedEx was there today when I seen you ride past. Like you can. The leasing office is open and you unlocked. Know, I'll write your name down and then I'll let them call you so they can yeah, tell thank you. you. That, you know, no, I was talking to him today. Literally and yesterday they told me that the same thing. Not even yesterday, day before that. Well, I don't normally have that apartment, so they must have changed that like two weeks ago. They might have, I don't know, but this just cost me just hell. You said yesterday when your plane left? 
my plane left at nine this morning. I need my passport Thursday. I had to buy a whole nother ticket. Well, we don't leave until nine thirty. I know Thursday, not Thursday. Wednesday, my passport is supposed to be here. My plane left today. Thank you. Nigga, bro, you ain't schmang, bro. Go ahead, like it don't matter. It don't matter if a package come through there, send that b to the leasing office. It don't matter. You don't know what people got. Like, especially if it's just like, if it's some shit like this, it ain't no fucking clothes. Documents. Like, come on now. So don't give a damn. Like, ugh. on the plane to Cancun. I'm in Dallas. I'm so tired. I had to run to my terminal because we just landed and my plane was already boarding. They were on the last group. And then I get to the little thing. I have to scan your face and stuff. My scan wasn't working. I had to scan my boarding pass. There was like no match. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the resort. <laughs> 